and thanks for joining us here on CIG TV. I'm Donna Bush. In the coming days, residents will be able to share their thoughts on the Cayman Islands' upcoming historic transition to single member constituencies with members from the Electoral Boundaries Commission. Now, a series of meetings are scheduled to take place from the 21st of April, starting in Kim and Brack at the Aston Ruddy Center. That meeting takes place at 6.30 that evening, followed by a meeting on Little Cayman at the PWD Hurricane Shelter on April 22nd at 6 p.m. On the 23rd, they move to the East End Civic Center at 7.30 p.m. They then move on to the Mary Miller Hall on April 27th at 7 p.m. On the 28th, they'll be at the Sir John A. Cumber Primary School Hall in West Bay at 8 o'clock in the evening. And on the 29th of April, they will be at the Bodentown Primary School at 7 o'clock. Now, the last meeting will be held at the Northside Civic Center. That's on April 30th at 8 o'clock in the night. Now, the subject of discussion will be the proposed change from the present situation in which voters may elect a varying number of candidates to the Legislative Assembly, depending on the district in which they reside, to one where each electoral casts only a single vote. Now, the public is urged to attend. Commission uh, Chairman Lisa Hanley says the group is looking for suggestions as to where to draw the boundaries, taking into account population, natural boundaries, and communities of interest. Now, the commissioners will submit their recommendations on the establishment of single-member constituencies to the governor by June of this year. Officials expect the new voting system will be in place for the 2017 general elections. Well, beginning May 31st this year, Cayman National is traveling to the UK for more than six months will be issued a biometric residence permit by the UK government. It can be used as proof of right to work or study and to access public services. Successful applicants will receive a sticker in their passport valid for 30 days, in which time they can collect their BRP from a designated both post office. The stamp in the passport, again, will only be temporary. For more details, you can go online to gov.uk slash biometric hyphen residence hyphen permits. In other news, general manager of the award-winning Sunset House Hotel and Sunset Divers, Keith Sam, has been recognized with a prestigious award. It all happened at the 2015 Beneath the Sea Show, the largest scuba and dive travel show in North America held in Secaucus, New Jersey this year. Mr. Sam started at Sunset House back in 1996. He's now the co-general manager of the resort where he continues to focus on the marketing, PR and advertising functions as well as overseeing the property operations. Mrs. Sam has served on various tourism-related boards locally. Director of Tourism Mrs. Rosa Harris says Mr. Sam embodies the commitment and passion for the sport of scuba diving that enables the Cayman Islands to be innovative leaders in the industry. The department and ministry congratulates Keith on his award and looks forward to a continuing partnership with him and Sunset House. Keith is the second person from the left in this photo. A justice of the United Kingdom's most senior court, Lord Jonathan Manns, visited recently as a guest of the Caymanian Bar Association and Cayman Islands Law Society. While here, he gave an informal lecture to a group of law school students at the Truman Bodden Law School. He spoke of his experience as a judge in the UK and discussed a number of leading cases that he has been involved in over the years, many of which were landmark legal decisions. Lord Manns also took questions from his audience who were aware of the opportunity the lecture from such an esteemed member of the UK judiciary presented to them. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to tune into Radio K Man's Talk Today shows, uh, as well as For the Record, that's weekdays and week mornings. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and safe night, and inviting you back here again on Wednesday evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.